guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have a fun one for you. Today I'm going to be taste testing three different wines and um, telling you my feedback on all of them. I did it over a course of time, so I'm going to be um, popping in here and there just to tell you. Um, just to give you like a quick uh, full disclosure, I am not some huge wine, know everything about it. Um, I'm just tasting a few random ones that I like the picture of <laughs> and thought, hey, these would be nice to try. They are dessert wines. I will go into all the details in the next thing later, but I just wanted to go ahead and tell you that that's what I'm doing today. So if it's your first time here, welcome. If you're back, welcome back. I love hanging out with you guys. All right, guys, let's get into this video. All right, and here's what I'm tasting today. Pinot Grigio, Prosecco Rosé, Pink Moscato. All right, guys, I'm going to be trying three different wines today. They're going to range from sweet to dry to extra dry. Um, so the first one that I'm going to try actually is going to be this Pinot here. And the next one that I'm gonna try is going to be this one here. And then the final one that I'm gonna try is gonna be this one here, barefoot. This one's the extra sweet one. Um, one of them does not have any um, uh, bubbles to them, any kind of like carbonation, um, and the other two do. So um, I will tell you my thoughts on that and also you know, a few other things throughout the course of this video. All right, so the first one is Pinot Grigio. All right, guys, so let's get started. All right, guys, so I'm gonna be doing this one now. Um, the other ones I'll do over the next couple days, but here we go. This one is a dry one. Um, it is dry, but it's not the extra dry. So this one's dry. Just doing a little tiny taste here. All right, so it smells. dry. <laughs> Explain that. Um, it, the smell is pleasant. Um, it smells like like a grape, but with like, um, I don't know. This one's very smooth. It is not sweet. I love sweet. It's not sweet. Um, it's dry, so you know that it means it's a little less sweet. And yeah, um, I will tell you what it's great to pair it with here when you're cooking. Um, usually this is like a, like a dessert wine or whatever, but you can still can pair them with different things. And so yeah, so it smells... I don't know, it has like a soft fragrance. You know how sometimes wine can be a little strong? It's not strong like that. So, so far I'm not, I don't hate this one. I'm kinda, I don't really drink a lot. So, this is not too strong. It's like smooth and it's, it has like a little bit of after of a sweet. So, this is a nice one. Very pleasant. All right guys, the next up is the Prosecco Rosé. All right, guys, so this one was very fun to open. Just watch. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that had a nice pop to it, huh? Mm -hmm. This one had like a nice carbonation to it. It was so, so vibrant in taste and everything else, but I'll get into that in a second. Um, but here, um, you want to make sure that you plug it up right, and we got like a little system for it. I'll explain it in a minute. Mm. Those are so nice. Mm -hmm. So basically we have these little corks and what she was just doing right there, puts it back in and it's really nice and that's what the little corks look like. And that just pumps it back in there and it seals it very nice. It's an air pump, so what it does is it helps it keep the carbonation and keeps it fresh. I thought about it, but made it easy. Yeah, so that one pulls it out and then that one puts it back in. Nice. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and taste this one now. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and taste it. Again, this is a rosé. Here we go. The bouquet of flavor. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's sparkling, too, by the way. 
Now this one I like, it's pleasant. It's very pleasant. The other one was really good, but this one is a little bit softer. It's, although it's dry, I don't know, maybe the color's fooling me or something, but it's making me feel like it's a little sweeter or softer or something. It's like a little more muted. The other one's a little stronger, but it was equally good, but this one is really smooth. Smell is softer too. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe I taste through my smell a little bit more than most people. I don't know. Delicious. And like I did with the other one, I will list here what goes good with this. Okay, next up is the pink Moscato. And finally, guys, let's go ahead and try this one here. Ooh. This one's supposed to be the sweetest one, so we will see. Now I'm going to taste it with you guys. Here we go. This one, when I smell sweet, but it also reminds me, it's a champagne, so it's different than the wine, but it reminds me of like a sparkling cider. So that's what this one tastes like, like sparkling cider, but like, so it's sweet, kind of fruity, like a light kind of taste. Yeah, but like sparkling cider. It, it's very, like the taste, of, like the alcohol kind of taste, it's very soft. It's not, it's not pro it's like that much, but it's sweet. I thought this was going to be the sweetest one. Didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought it was going to be the sweetest one. It's sweet, but it's just champagne. So the sweet's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be, but it is sweet. So anyway, I will get back to you guys with my thought thoughts and compare all of them. Guys, before I do the final comparison of what I thought and what wine was my favorite, I just wanted to say this really quick and then I will get to that. Another full disclosure, I am not someone who typically drinks, so um, some of my reactions might be to the alcohol taste because I don't like really, it's not like, I'm not a big fan of alcohol, the way it tastes. So just so you know, it might not be strong to someone who like regularly drinks something, you know what I mean? So heads up on that. All right, guys, and I tasted three different wines. Um, again, that was the Pinot Grigio, the um, Prosecco Rosé, and the Pink Moscato. They all are dessert wines. They're paired with perfect things. Um, so what were my actual thoughts on them? Which one was my favorite? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and reveal the second one. Although all of them were pleasant, that was my favorite. All right, guys, and that is my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that um, you have a couple ideas. Should you be like, I don't know where to start with wine? This might be a good place. So there you go. Um, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you back here soon. Cheers.